Good morning, folks. Um, I went to town yesterday and had an amazing plant haul. Uh, these are the first plants I've been able to buy since fall, other than one other plant that I picked up at the grocery store back in February. But I really have a very limited local supply of plants and when I say local for me to go to Walmart and Home Depot it's a 90 mile round trip and makes for a long day and I usually have eight other things I really need to do while I'm down there because I prefer not to travel down that often. So anyway I kind of feel like I hit the jackpot. Now, I've never had bird's nest ferns before. I've always passed them by because ferns, I've always just thought, ugh, I can't keep ferns alive. But I did pretty well with the um, uh, kangaroo paw fern. And I looked at these and I felt them. And I've never handled a bird's nest fern before. And their leaves are rather leathery. Um, I think I can keep this kind of fern alive. They're not... They, they're not seem to they don't seem to be so fragile that you know I'll melt them and then <coughs> excuse me I also found a bird's nest Victoria and I just love the little super wavy leaves they're just cute and again very leathery and uh, one thing I have been told is be very sure not to water down in the crown because you'll rot them out in a hurry. And then um, another fern I bought is, um, I'm going to have to look at the tag I made for that one because I had to look them up when I got home. It's a real pretty thing and she is big. This is my hand. And, uh, again, uh, it and the Victoria were $12.98, and um, she is a, a Splendium Nebus, N-I-B-U-S, and, of course, I did the silly thing of buying a plant before I knew anything about it and uh, kitty get out um, I I read when I got home that they could get up to two feet tall and two feet wide and I'm going oh my so I don't know I doubt that that's probably outside I doubt that that'll happen inside but she has the potential to be big and I can't grow her outside in my cold climate um, I also bought a ZZ Raven. Let me see if I can get my hold of it. It's hard for me to pick up these heavy plants. I bought one last fall and it died within days and I called down and told the store and they wanted me to bring it in. I explained it's a 90 mile trip. I could send photos. So they just refunded my money because it just it literally rotted out in just like three days and it was total mush. And um, so I bought another one. I'm going to take another chance. And this time I, <laughs> I got down on my hands and knees and put it down on the floor and stuck my fingers down in. And I felt those bulbs down in the root area to see how they're doing. And it worries me that they're, they're planted below the surface of the, of the dirt uh, or the potting soil. But uh, I plan to do a repot on this right away and get, it, get them raised up. A little bit like they're supposed to be and then I I picked up two of these pretty little berry illusion syngoniums and um, I'm gonna put them together in the same pot uh, they weren't they were like a dollar more for two kind of nice little plants versus a dollar less for the same size plant just in a bigger pot so I thought what the heck I'll try it give them a try and I really do like syngonium now the biggest haul was this big beautiful aglionema cutlass 
and this one was at my grocery store again and I have just done I've gotten my best plants at my grocery store I say local but it's a 44 mile trip but you know that's okay I have to go down about you know once a month every six weeks so I'm good but she's been on my wish list for a long time uh, Carmen Whitehead was showing them and I just fell in love with them and I have a, a silver bay and I think it's a white Dalmatian and um, I just I just love them I think they're beautiful and so anyway I really shouldn't probably be buying more plants but I needed a fix like I think we all can understand at times so thanks for coming and I have some other projects coming up soon bye